Republican candidate getting the most attention right now is not the leader, Newt Gingrich, or the steady candidate, Mitt Romney. Instead, it's Herman Cain. Now, accusations of infidelity and sexual harassment are flying this morning. We're talking to our political team about it. Joins this morning Tea Party organizer Darcy Van Orden and Keith Cooter, director of the group Restoration of American Media. All right, so you've been watching all this just like everyone else has been watching it. First and foremost, just your take on where Herman Cain stands, because we're hearing things like, I have to talk to my wife. Really? Do you not have a phone? I mean, where? what's going on here? Honestly, it just, it's gotten progressively worse and worse and worse for his campaign. And all the allegations of the women come out about sexual harassment. And then as of late, we have this ginger white who's coming out and saying they had a 13-year affair. And so ultimately, the biggest problem is, at this point, is nobody knows whether it's true or not. So that's not even up for debate, really. He's off message. He can't get back on message. He can't gain any momentum. And ultimately, it's going to leave a question in the voters' minds. So I think people are starting to abandon him. He's losing all the momentum. It's no good for his dying. Keith, people cheat on their wives all the time, unfortunately. So why would this be such a deterrence from Herman Cain? And what he, New Gingrich has done the same thing, and no one seems to bat an eyelash at it. The message keeps coming um, to mind for voters, the Clinton experience. Mm -hmm. um, someone going to the office and lying to the American people. When we look at Herman Cain right now, we have a situation where he's denied the situation. He's made multiple phone calls to his wife. His wife knows all the details. She's standing behind him. As of right now, it's a situation where the media has attacked him so much that it's hurt his campaigning, his, uh, raising funds. So who's it helping? So who's it helping? I mean, if, if this is hurting... Herman Cain, there's just like a balloon, you know, you squeeze yes. one in, it's got to be helping. Well, somebody. I think it's been helping Newt. I mean, he's kind of the flavor of the month. You know, Cain was up really high. You know, he's now got off message, and all of a sudden, you have Newt who kind of came out of nowhere, and all of a sudden is very high in the polls. And so he's definitely, and the question is, will he maintain that? And that's what I, I really question, because I don't know that Newt, Newt has the staying power. I think the difference there is Newt actually got elected first, and then these allegations come out. I don't think the American people are going to accept somebody walking in the door with wow. such egregious right, allegations yeah. out there. So even though they might be not so great, they're going to cause a problem in the big picture, these allegations. Oh, absolutely. But I would, I mean, I would argue this. I mean, ultimately, I don't think Kane had it from the get-go. I think, you know, you had first the Pokemon quote, and then you had, you know, the allegations come out. And then, but more than anything, his, his, his policy in the early debates were always a big question mark. It was, he was saying a lot, but it's really saying nothing. And so I don't think he really understands anything in the area of foreign policy. That was brought up with the big Libya question. I mean, at the end of the day, Kane has a flawed background. He is not the true contender that I think we need him to be. And Keith, we'll give you, uh, an, opportunity. We'll well, give you an opportunity to address that. Okay. But right now, we have to wrap up. That'll be the last word, but it will not be the last word. Keith will get to weigh in on that as well. We'll talk more about Herman Cain and politics a little bit later. And coming up, we'll also check on your forecast and all those wins. Well, Newt Gingrich and Mitt Romney may be the leaders, but Herman Cain is getting all the attention in the Republican presidential race. Yeah, and it's probably attention that he doesn't want to have. And this morning we're talking to our political team about all this. Darcy Van Orden, of course, here, and Kurt, Kurt, uh, Kurt uh, Cooter as well. Uh, both of you, thank you for coming in. Um, and the Herman Cain issue, obviously, dominating the, dominating the headlines. The question is, we'll start down here, is can Herman Cain survive this? I mean, is there any way to get back to where he was. Well, we have a firestorm right now where it's a character assassination that it repeatedly it has been hurting um, his campaign, raising funds. So uh, right now, the only message that, that's hurting is the fact that voters across the nation are feeling that he's going to drop out of the race. So without that confidence, that lack of confidence behind him, um, right now we need we have a situation where we're going to have, we have to wait until Miss Kane comes out before the press and she supports him. And just apologize for my curbs at Keith. Just get that out no, there. Just, since, since everyone's apologizing for mistakes, I'll get that out of the way. <laughs> well, no, is that what's necessary? Does Herman yes. Cain's wife need to come up and say, this is not an issue, I believe my husband, will that make it blow over? Does that just escalate that's, the issue? That's not going to solve the problem. I mean, the bottom line is he's off message, he's been off message. If you're explaining something, you're not winning, you're losing, and people are losing a tremendous amount of confidence in him, and I don't see him recovering. I read an article where this hurts some and benefits others, though. So let's just say that Herman Cain cannot get rid of this, just for the sake of argument. Who does it help? Who does it actually Barack hurt? Obama. It, 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 it helps Barack Obama. How so? It's because it's hurting, it's hurting the GOP right now. Um, the numbers right now is showing that the polls and the, the cloud, the momentum is going to new. But that's just going to be a temporary scenario. 
And if, if Newt gets the Republican support behind him, then we have a scenario where Barack Obama will be able to defeat the Republican Party. We don't want this to happen. Why, why is Newt not a viable candidate compared to whoever else you're going to say? Well, I think one second, I, mean, I think putting your support behind Newt Gingrich is almost like trying to make cassette tapes popular again. I mean, we're, if we want to go and relive 1994, I don't think most Americans want to. I mean, truth be told, he there's so many flaws in his policies. He says one thing, he does another. He's another big king of doublespeak, and I don't see him being successful in the end. He's almost the flavor of the month. He picked up where Kane left off. And I think he's just going to be a temporary boost, and then he's going to be done for. So, in order to save the GOP, does Kane need to say, "I'm out"? Um, well, I think I think in a way it would be it would definitely look better on the GOP that they no longer have this distraction taking place. Right, and that's uh, why Herman so Cain re is reassessing all this. Herman Cain is in a scenario right now where he needs to. You can't ask Herman Cain to drop out of the race. All these allegations are just a fire uh, character Thank you. We got to end you there, unfortunately. We got so much weather stuff going on, but we'll get back right. to you two later on in a Darcy and Keith debate. both here, and we'll, we'll talk to you again in about 30, 40 minutes. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. New Gingrich and Mitt Romney may be the leaders, but Herman Cain is getting all the attention in the Republican presidential race. Certainly, the accusations of infidelity and sexual harassment are uh, kind of trumping political comments right now. Join us, our Darcy Van Orden and Keith Cooter. Thank you both for uh, coming in this morning. Uh, this just could jump on the Herman Cain train, so to speak. Can he ever? get over this. He cannot. He can with his wife's support. With his wife's support. Now, he said he's going to talk to his wife, or if she's okay with this. Face to I'm, face. I'm sorry, but i got to ask. I love it. Face to face. Face, face to face. phone call. Yeah, not right. to tweet. But can't she get on? I mean, what is, why is it saying, oh, I'm going to meet with my wife on Friday? I mean, that alone is like saying, what? He this has a hectic schedule. He's traveling around sure. the country. He's fundraising. He needs to take a little pause. Go reassess things, spend right. time with his wife, have a face-to-face -face conversation, and then we'll see from there. His life is irrelevant. The, the bottom line is he's off message. Yeah, his well, campaign no. is over, and it's just in major decline. I mean, there's. I mean, they could put a Band-Aid on it, but you're not going to fix their hemorrhaging. It's over. Well, I mean, going back, going back to that, if, if even his wife says, yeah, I, I don't believe this is true, Ginger White thing is not talking about anything illegal, and right now, can anyone disprove her? So, because That's it seems like it'll linger out there, and I'm just curious, as, yeah. as a supporter, I'm saying, okay, I like Herman Cain, but this is still lingering, and, and can it go away? Well, that's why he's reassessing things. It's hurting the Republican image right now. And we can't ask Herman Cain to step down from his um, campaign. He needs to do this on his own as a respected leader. These accusations are just a, a character assassination that's playing out. What's the difference between these accusations and what Newt Gingrich has said, yeah, I've already done? That, that's what I keep wondering is, obviously, these are new and fresh, but Newt Gingrich has done the same situation, if not more. Well, this is the, the problem is Newt Gingrich got elected first. Okay. Here we have Kane, who's trying to get elected, and then basically the American people can't tolerate this from the get-go when he's being up for consideration. They just want nothing to do with it. They want to walk away. Okay, what does this do to the race? I mean, Herman Cain, let's just say, I don't know, he continues in the race, but he doesn't get back to where he was. Newt Gingrich right now seems to be the, will, will benefit from this. Well, yeah, currently Newt Gingrich is the flavor of the month. We've watched numerous of the candidates peak and then soon fall. That happened with Perry, now happened with Kane. Now we're looking at the same thing with Newt. Uh, based on Newt's track record, I don't believe he's going to keep this momentum because his ultimately his record is so flawed that in the end, the American people are not going to be interested in seriously considering him long term. And the benefits of having Herman Cain in the race is the African-American vote. Right. They're going to come in and they're going to support the Republican candidates and take a look at the different Ron Paul, yeah. for example, and decide from there. So even if he's not a candidate, he's, he's sticking around. He's sticking around. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, it's definitely having implications in every direction. Thank you very much for both coming in. And throughout the morning, Darcy and Keith have been here to talk about this issue, so we appreciate it.